Welcome to Be Smart Together. I focus on Power Query and Power Pivot in Excel. If you're new, please subscribe and turn on the notification. Also, feel free to drop a comment to give feedback, ask questions or let me know if there are any topics you're interested in. Today, I want to explain a DAX function in Power Pivot, mainly covering the SUMX function and whether it differs from the SUM function. The content is designed for beginners. We have two tables, sales and product. For the time being, those tables are already added to the data model. Let's write the DAX measure in the sales column. Name the measure sum fx, followed by a column and an equal sign. Use the sum function. We want to sum the total of sales. Let's resize the column a bit. We just wrote a DAX measure with the sum function. The following function we want to write is the sum x function. Name the new measure, sum x fx, followed by a column and equal sign. Write sum x. The sum x function consists of two arguments, whereas the sum function only consists of one. The first argument requirement is a table, and the is expression. In this case, the table is the sales table. The expression is the total sales column, which means we want to sum the total sales column. Let's create a pivot table in Excel. We want to add the sales channel. Scroll down further and select the sum and sum x measures. The result looks the same, but the sum function sums the entire column, whereas the sum x function evaluates each row. Sum x is one of the iterator functions, it evaluates each row. Let me show you the following example, you will see what I mean. Let us return to the power pivot window. The calculation for the total sales is the sales quantity multiply the unit price. Imagine if you don't have the total column. Let's replace the highlighted column name with the sales quantity. We want to multiply it with the unit price. We want to apply the same calculation to the sumx function. Replace the highlighted column name with the sales quantity and multiply it with the unit price. Check your measure result, you can tell the calculation results are different. Let's see the details calculation result in Excel. Add the total sales to the pivot table. Look at the result calculated with the sum function versus the one with the sum x function. You get incorrect results with the sum function because the multiplication of the sales quantity and unit price are at the aggregated level, whereas, the iterator function, sum x, evaluates each row and then aggregates them. So you'll need to be mindful of what function you are using. Let us look at another example. Use sum x filter as the measure name. This time, we want to use the filter in the first argument. The filter function also consists of two arguments and is similar to the sumx function in terms of syntax. Use the sales table for the first argument. The second argument, filter criteria, is where the sales channel is equal to online. This is what you get with the filter function, a table that contain only the online transactions. Keep the sales quantity multiply the unit price as the second argument. Now go to Excel and check the results. Add the newly calculated measure to the pivot table. You get the results calculated only for the online sales channel and blank for the rest. SumX function is one of the functions widely use. I will cover a few more important DAX functions and create a dashboard use case to demonstrate how I apply them in the near future. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.